Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, January 22nd. It's about 8.30, 8.40 right now. I have been in the studio for a couple of hours already. Uh, we're back to the regular schedule this week, which means my dad is excuse me, downstairs with Penelope from 6 to 12, um, so I'm up here working. Um, I have a few projects this week. My biggest one and the one that I'm going to be kind of taking you guys along with uh, for the most part is this Skillshare class that I have been developing. Um, I think by the time you watch this video, it will actually already be out. Uh, so I'll have it definitely linked in the description box, but I still wanted to put out the behind the scenes since it seems like something that you guys are interested in. So um, I, two weeks ago, or maybe three weeks ago, some time ago, I, I wrote the script and showed you guys some of that process of like what goes into actually developing um, the, well, I can't think of the word, the theme, I guess, the, the subject, <laughs> the subject of a class and how I um, kind of fill that out and break down the teaching of it. And then I did the filming last week and this week, my biggest task is to edit. So most of the filming's done. I may have to shoot a few other little sections of B-roll, um, but uh, I wanna show you guys kind of how I go about the different phases of the editing process. That will be a good amount of what I focus on this week. And then I have two client projects. Um, one, it, I have to turn in some sketches by the end of today, actually. Uh, it's for some packaging illustration. Um, and depending on when they get back to me, um, it's working with an agency and then they are working with the client. So, um, sometimes that means that turnaround time for feedback is a little bit longer since there's just more people involved in the chain of communication. So depending on when they get back to me, I may be working on like actually starting the, um, the full color illustrations this week, or that may not happen until next week, but sketches are due today regardless. Um, and then I also have um, a logo, an illustrative logo that I've been working on. I've uh, been going back and forth, kind of doing different iterations, more iterations than we had actually initially planned on, but that's okay um, since they have been willing to up their budget. So um, I do have more for that project that's due on Friday. Um, and it's possible that it will be the, the final result or they might want more iterations. They have... <clears throat> seem to to value uh having lots of different versions <laughs> so uh that is that so yeah the three main tasks are the editing the packaging illustration and the logo illustration um and then of course i have like a bunch of other stuff that i would love to do if i could i have this project that i am hoping to do at some point in the early part of 2019 um i want to gear it mainly towards tumblr uh, since that's where i first got started online and i just have been feeling kind of sentimental about it lately and i haven't been able to give tumblr as much attention as i have the other platforms so um this stuff will come out on other platforms as well but i was gearing it mainly towards towards tumblr since they're the kind of oldest audience well, they're maybe the youngest audience in terms of their age, but they've, they've been around the longest. Uh, and that is to redraw um, some of my original kind of popular illustrations on Tumblr. So some of the ones that were first on the radar. Um, so I am excited to start that at some point. If I happen to have any extra time this week, that is what I will do. Um, I also have to, I'll probably do this right now before I jump into editing. I have to film a little just update for Patreon and I'll tell you guys the same thing. It's going to be in the update as well. Um, and that is, I, uh, I found out, I had no idea that I was breaking the rules, but I had done some uh, giveaways exclusively for my patrons um, and I guess that is not just like against patreon guidelines but it's against the law uh, because basically what it comes down to is that you're requiring people have to pay in order to, to enter and even though a giveaway isn't all that it is like I guess there's just like ethical I don't know who what board of government oversees that but it is against the law so I am no longer able to offer giveaways that are exclusive to Patreon um, and I was still doing public giveaways too but um, I just thought it was a nice little bonus uh, but yeah so sadly I have to stop doing that um, there will still be other giveaways on here and on Instagram and stuff um, 
and um, I had been developing an idea uh, for a new uh, for a new reward. Actually, a couple of tweaks to reward tiers. The the first thing is that um, I have right now like a, a quarterly reward thing. It's the ten dollar tier, and uh, so every three months I send like a little surprise pack of postcards and a sticker and that sort of thing. Um, but I, I think I want to have another tier that's either at the same level or, or maybe I would swap the pricing. Um, but I want to have another tier that lets people basically do kind of a somewhere between 10 and $15 a month. And then at the end of a year, they get to pick out an original. Um, and I, 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 I don't know if it's going to be popular, but my thought was just that, you know, at a certain point, like there probably will be some patrons that are like, okay, I have enough Kendall Hillegas postcards, but, um, a lot of people might be interested in, um, in being able to kind of work towards an original. So I'm going to add that. And so uh, watch out for that in the next couple of days. Actually, probably by the time you guys see this video, that will be live. Um, so there will still be my $1 tier, my $5 tier, and then there will be a new somewhere between $10 and $15 tier that um, is uh, working towards an original. And then a new reward that will be for all patrons. Um, all patrons will be able to participate in, including just the $1 patrons. Uh, I've been trying to think of how I could do this and I had to rethink how I could structure it to be within Patreon's guidelines, um, but I'm going to do, um, we'll, we'll start off with monthly and then depending on how it goes, might be more often, I'm going to do a, a, a critique. So in order to stay in those guidelines where it's not a giveaway, what I'm going to have to do is I'll do a post probably at the beginning of the month calling for uh, people to uh, link or um, I'm not sure if you can reply with an image on Patreon. I'll have to figure this out, but reply to my post with a link to an image of theirs, a piece of artwork that they would like critiqued. And um, then people will vote on those. So they'll, the, whichever one of those gets the most likes, I will then do a mini critique on. So I'll, I'll give at least one pointer of something that they are doing really well in that piece and then at least one pointer for something that they could improve on. Um, and this has been something that I've had requests for, um, and, and I may also in the future try to offer, I don't even know where I could do this, I couldn't do it on Patreon, it might just be something I'd have to put in my shop, but I've had a lot of requests for people asking for me to review their portfolios or give them like more comprehensive suggestions for ways to improve, but my thought was that this would be like a little, we could like dip our toes in that in those waters just to see what that's like and my hope is it'll be something that will be really valuable for everybody because you know at least in my experience in art school I would learn as much from someone else's work being critiqued as I would from my own and it's just really helpful to see yeah to see the both the positive feedback of like what's really working and the uh, constructive suggestions of what could be done better the next time. So uh, all of my patrons will have the opportunity to submit works that they would like critiqued and then everybody will get to vote and the, the one that has the most votes will be uh, the one that I actually critique for that month. So um, yeah, and depending on how it goes, what the response is like, we might do, you know, maybe we would do one every two weeks. So um, that is what is new on Patreon. So um, this has been a very long vlog intro, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and transition now to doing some more editing and I, um, yeah, I'll explain what's going on there and show you guys. Okay, so I am sitting down in the comfy chair, got my computer on my lap, getting ready to do some more editing. Um, so basically I have my um, movie files over here, which are um, what I recorded with my Nikon, my Nikon D3300. And uh, typically when I've done Skillshare classes in the past, I've just recorded them back to back to back. But this time I, I tried to actually stop the camera after filming each lesson, which has made it a little bit easier for me to split things up so that I don't have to do the slicing in iMovie. Um, and I'm just using iMovie for editing. I have it on my list to look at other possibilities. I know a lot of YouTubers and Skillshare uh, teachers like Final Cut um, or Final Cut Pro, but um, I, my feeling so far has been that that's just like more than I need. But uh, I do want to look into something that's a bit more than iMovie. Uh, if you have any suggestions, I'm certainly open to those. I, I work on a Mac. 
Um, so, so far, um, I have done my first pass at the intro and the second lesson. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to uh, create a new movie and I'm going to drag. So this was the intro. This was the first lesson. This is the second lesson. I'm going to drag this over here. And this is just the raw recording um, of, yeah, of me kind of working my way through the script. So my first step in editing is to do basically a, a quick pass through this just to cut out all of the spaces, all of the places where I say, um, if you can hear some operatic singing in the background, it's my dad <laughs> goofing around with Penelope. Um, so before I start slicing though, I'm going to do a quick edit, which is something that I do to every single, uh, video that's reduced background noise. And then I'm going to put the auto volume on and then lower volume of other clips. Cause most of these I'll have some little background music on. Um, and then, um, this is how I edited videos for YouTube as well. Um, before, uh, the incredible and kind Meg started helping me. Um, so I'll just kind of look for where I think I start talking. Welcome back. So if you have, and then go. So if you have ever taken an art class, maybe. And then if I see a space, I'll check. Did I actually like restart? But in case you haven't, no, because a lot of the time, especially in the intro videos, when I'm first getting warmed up, I'll have like 20 false starts. So I'll just go through and I'll split and get rid of stuff. And this is basically just my first pass going through, getting rid of any little breaks that I see and then watching it to make sure it makes sense um, and, and actually follows a linear thought pattern. Sometimes I repeat myself or like I'll, if I feel like I did a certain section uh, in a way that doesn't make sense, I'll redo that section, I'll refilm it. So um, yeah, that's, that's basically what I'll do for the first pass. And then I'll watch it again and uh, take notes. I'll have like a little word file, a little pages file open and I'll take notes um, noting like where I'm at in terms of the time on, on the video for any inserts or B-roll that I want to do. As I mentioned earlier, I think I am going to probably have to film a little, a few pieces of B-roll, but I'm not totally sure what I'm going to need. Um, some things I, I probably would just rather do with photo examples. And then of course I'm going to have a uh, little text inserts. So I do my baseline editing first to get rid of all the pauses and the ums and make sure it is just clear as a um, as a progression of thought, and then I watch it again and take notes uh, to figure out what I need to make for inserts and what I need to film for B-roll. So I'm going to get started on that here. Let me see if I can set this up in a way that you guys can see. Welcome back. So if you have ever taken an art class, we're going to get rid of that. So if you have ever taken an art class, maybe even an elementary school art class, chances are you have probably seen one of these. So like when I watch this again, I'll know at that part I need to make a note that I have to have an insert, uh, either a B-roll video or um, a still of a color wheel. But in case you haven't or and the reason I don't do this now, um, I've tried doing both at once, like taking the notes and doing the, um, the simple editing at the same time, and my brain just doesn't work that way, so I always end up uh, needing to repeat things or do it over. So I find it's better just to focus on one thing at a time. Okay. It is about five minutes to 12. Um, I, uh, am just getting ready to wrap up, head downstairs and, uh, take over with Penelope. Um, I ended up spending, uh, way longer than I had anticipated, sort of getting things squared away on Patreon and then, um, sending each of my patrons who would be affected by the change, uh, individual messages. Um, it's just like a little bit of a sensitive thing. I, I feel like because people are already supporting at one level and then so when there is a change, um, yeah, I just want to make sure everybody knows how grateful I am and that there's a reason that I'm making the changes. So, um, I, I spent probably like an hour and a half or so, um, doing that, trying to have a really clear written version as well as the video update and then sending all these, um, individual messages. 
So uh, we'll see. By the time this video goes live, we'll uh, we'll know how it actually shakes out and whether um, all of my patrons delete their pledges or or what. But um, yes, so I decided to prioritize that, and I've gotten a little bit more editing done um, on the Skillshare class. Uh, so far, I basically have five out of what will be, I think, eight lessons all edited. Some of these are a lot longer too, so I may actually end up having to chop them into like multiple segments. Um, Skillshare has an upload limit on, on file size, has a file size upload limit, so depending on how big the files end up being, I might have to chop them up uh, even more. Uh, but for now I've gotten a good start on the editing. I will, um, have lunch obviously, and then put Penelope down and then probably do a bit more editing this afternoon while she's sleeping. Um, I also have to make those changes to, um, to the sketch for the packaging project. So, uh, yeah, that's what the afternoon looks like. And, uh, and then hopefully if I can, I can finish all of the sort of foundational first pass editing that you guys have seen me do so far uh, today, then tomorrow. Well, let me think, think this through. Depending on how the timing goes this afternoon, maybe I would be able to watch them again and, and make my notes, but probably that's something I'll have to do tomorrow. Um, just like watch through the entire class and make notes for what supplementary visuals I need, what cut screens I need, um, what B-roll I need, and then um, and then spend the morning making that happen, um, filming those things and gathering those things, and then maybe tomorrow afternoon going through and adding them all in. Um, so yeah, probably in the most optimistic version of this, the editing will be finished tomorrow afternoon, well, tomorrow evening, end of day tomorrow, but maybe a more realistic uh, timeline would be um, like lunchtime Thursday. So we'll see. We will find out together. Um, for now, I'm going to go change into some actual pants because I have, uh, I changed into my top uh, for you guys and I put on makeup because I actually have a FaceTime uh, date with an old friend later. Uh, so I wanted to look presentable. Um, but I haven't put pants on yet. So going to do that, then go have lunch and we'll check back in later. Good morning guys. It is Wednesday, um, the 23rd, January 23rd. It's 1030. Uh, today is actually Penelope's second birthday. Um, I feel bad. I forgot until like 730 this morning. We had a little party on Sunday. Um, it ended up being a bit different than we expected because we had some really bad, um, like a really bad ice storm going through. Um, but still, we had a little celebration on Sunday with Eric's parents and then some friends. And then we'll probably celebrate again with my family this weekend. Um, but it's just kind of a normal day besides that. And she's only two, so she doesn't really notice. But um, in addition to, obviously, I'm working today since it's a regular Wednesday. But I think I may try to... Um, use the, the fancy camera, the DSLR camera to take some photos of her. Her whole first year, I would do like photo shoots every month um, up until she turned a year. And then I, I think I did one at 18 months um, or maybe I just posted some photos that I had taken at the park or something. But um, I think since she's two, either today or at some point, hopefully this week, I wanna um, take some pictures just for her album. Um, uh, I also have to make a photo album. I promise this is a Christmas gift to Eric's parents. They, um, again, Penelope's whole first year, I did little albums like every three months. Um, but then I've been planning on doing like a, a big album of, of from year one to year two. So um, that's some personal stuff I want to work on. But um, yes, it's already a little past 1030. I have been in the studio since eight this morning. Um, all I have been doing is finishing the first pass at editing. So it took me much longer than I was hoping. Uh, I was really hoping I would be able to finish that uh, yesterday so that I could have already gotten started on uh, my next step, which is figuring out what I need for cut screens and B-roll and all the supplementary stuff. But um, let me show you what I have so far. So again, I'm just working in iMovie here. Um, I end up, ended up having 10 lessons. Um, some of them are pretty long, like the color terminology one, uh, is over, it's over 10 minutes. I think it's like close to 15 minutes. So, um, so is this one, I think the building a palette and matching color. And then the watercolor part of the demo is also right around 14 minutes. 
um, the color pencils I think are right around 12. So I, I've never posted a lesson on Skillshare that was longer than 12 minutes. So I think I'm going to have to do a test export of something that is 14 minutes and see what the size of the file is. Uh, because if it's over their limit, I think their limit's like two megabytes off to check, but if it's over their limit, I'll have to chop some of these up. Um, which I would prefer not to do just because um, in some of these lessons, I like some of the later lessons, I refer back to the uh, to the earlier lessons. So, um, and unfortunately, I refer to like the number of the lesson. So that could throw it off if I end up having to chop it up and, um, and the numbers would be different uh, if there were more lessons. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a test export and see how big the file is if it's 15 if it's 15 minutes long um, and then I am gonna watch all of these again and I'm gonna open back up uh, let's see here all right I've got the my notes here for the color mixing class that which you guys have already seen so I'll, I'll get this back opened again and then I'll kind of work my way through watching each of the lessons alongside my notes um, or I may just start on a fresh page watching each of the lessons and then I'm going to take note of uh, the time in uh, in the video. Um, actually, maybe I'll just show you guys how I do this rather than talking through it. But um, all right, first I am going to do that test export and see how that goes. Okay, so I checked and uh, indeed anything that is much longer than 12 minutes is going to be too big of a file. So um, rather than splitting them up, I just went through, I've uh, spent the last hour or more. Oh man, this is going so slow. The, mass, the last hour or so going through um, the first two videos, the intro and the color terminology. The color terminology was one of the longer ones. So I ended up just cutting it down. It was like 14 minutes and I was able to cut out quite a bit. I got it down to 10 and a half minutes. So that'll be fine. Um, this is the only, well, this one and I guess the watercolor. Yeah, these two are the the others that are quite long so I'll have to figure out a way to cut those down uh, but while I was cutting that down I just went through and of course I closed this let me open it back up um, I went through and I put together my little guideline here for um, for the supplementary materials I'm gonna need so basically I have kind of a code for myself so uh, CS means cut screen IN means, um, so like right here, cuts, oops, right here, sorry. And then IN means uh, insert. And then BR, any of the highlighted parts, um, is B roll. And uh, all of the highlighted parts are things that I actually still need to film. So it looks like a lot and it is going to be kind of a pain, but they're mostly just like little tiny things. So um, my hope is that I can finish reading through, um, oops, siren coming by. Uh, finish watching rather all of the lessons and have this kind of a plan for every single lesson so maybe this afternoon if the light is okay because um, I have the afternoon babysitter coming from three to five I'll be able to just sit down and uh, record all of the b-roll so um, I've only made it through two lessons so far which doesn't bode well for me being able to somehow magically finish all of the other ones while Penny's napping but uh, yeah this is this is what I'll end up with and so like lesson two is going to be one of the more comprehensive lessons, one of the longer lessons. So just kind of working my way down, I'll start out with a cut screen, uh, intro screen, um, and then uh, I have some notes for different insert screens that I want to make, um, another cut screen, another insert screen, uh, b-roll. Yeah, and it's just kind of uh, this little outline, which is going to be helpful both for making these things because the B-roll is all stuff that I have to film, like I said, but then for both the cut screens and the insert screens, anything that starts with a CS or an IN, um, I have to make those in uh, one of my like graphic layout programs. And then for some of these things, I also have to grab, like right here, this is an insert that I need to have some visual examples of black and white pencil sketches. So I'll probably just grab those from like Wikimedia or some other um, free for use, free for education website. Um, and then those will have to be dropped into whatever template that I decide to use for inserts. So uh, yeah, you can see it's pretty comprehensive. <laughs> um, and I, I don't have to do these, but it's definitely a way that 
uh, the production value can have um, more of a professional feel to it. And just in terms of accommodating different learning styles as well, I think it's really helpful to both say, kind of repeat some of the concepts that you're going over, which I try to do in all of my classes, but then also to have the information presented in different ways. So um, both um, from my face from my docking head both what's the word for that um audio I guess like um lecture uh some form of audio or lecture and then also having some some slides that have little notes or tips um to kind of drive the point home and then having visual examples so that's like three different kinds um uh, I just think it makes it much more accessible to different types of learners and uh help everybody overall to get more out of the class. So uh, definitely a big additional step because if I wasn't doing this step, basically I would be ready to publish right now. Um, I have all of it filmed. I have all of it, um, the rough edit done for everything. So if I wasn't adding in all of these other elements, I would be ready to go, but I'll, I will spend the rest of today and probably most of tomorrow working on that. And hopefully I'll be done by Friday morning so that I can um, the focus on exporting the class and then making, um, like writing the class description and doing all of that stuff. So, um, that is where this is at, at the moment. I'm just going to grab my camera and then head downstairs, um, and take over, uh, from the babysitter with Penelope and then she and I will get lunch and then she'll go down for her nap around one. Um, and then hopefully I will be super productive and get all of the rest of the, um, notes done and yeah you guys will find out either way how that goes hey guys it is just before five I'm just getting ready to wrap up and take over from the babysitter I have done most of the going through of the footage I'm just like completely brain dead and I can't focus on it anymore so um, I have made the decision to just stop for now um, the only two parts I have left are like the last two talking head segments. So basically where I, one where I'm kind of going over common pitfalls with dealing with color and I'm considering whether I should cut that section because I feel like I have said most of that stuff in other lessons, but um, a piece of feedback that I've gotten is that I go, that I talk too fast or that I like say too, like that I'm trying to communicate too much information at once. And I don't really know how to stop doing that without like completely changing my approach but something I've been trying to do with this class is to repeat myself more um not like one right after another but just to like make sure I'm bringing up the same pointers um in several at several different points in several different ways throughout the class so uh but I don't feel like I can make that decision right now because I'm just like too zonked so I'm going to stop for now, which means I probably will have a little bit more of this to do tomorrow morning. And then hopefully I will um, be able to do all of the filming for all the B-roll tomorrow morning. Um, tonight while I'm on the couch, I might try to start gathering like some of the other things that I'm going to need, like the visual examples that I might grab from online and then maybe making some of the cut screens and the inserts. Um, and then I still have to also film the voiceover for the tutorial section. So, um, I am beginning to think that probably like the production will be done by end of day Friday and that I'll be publishing like Monday or Tuesday. What's that date? Uh, I did promise the, um, since I'm a top teacher now, there's somebody that I kind of liaise directly with at Skillshare. I promised her a while ago that I would get this class out in January. So I definitely have to do it by the 31st. So probably not publishing by the 25th, maybe publishing by the 29th. Either way, it will be live by the time you guys see it. So it will be linked below. Um, all right. I have to go meet up with the babysitter and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. Uh, What's the date? The 24th, January 24th. Uh, and welcome back to my computer screen, my epic document here. Um, I finally finished watching all of the um, all of the different lessons and putting together my comments. All of the highlighted parts, the yellow parts, are um, sections of B-roll that I needed to film. So that is what I have been doing this morning. Um, and basically, I still have a few more little things to do before I can do the final, final edit. But I'm finally starting to feel like I really am closing in on the end here. 
Um, the next thing I need to do is just go through and categorize. Um, let me see. So like there are places where it says visual examples. So I think I'm going to remove all the highlights on the B roll and then, um, go through and highlight all of the places where it says visual examples, because those are things I need to either make myself or, uh, get online. And, um, I would just, I think I mentioned this, but I would just use probably Wikimedia or maybe Pixabay, um, depending on the, the types of examples I need. Um, so I want to, uh, go through and gather all of those and have them all in one folder so that, uh, when I have to put together the cut screens and the inserts, I just have the, the visuals there ready to go. It'll just make the process faster. So, um, I will probably hopefully do that this afternoon. It's actually already, what time is it? 10 30. Um, I actually have to stop kind of early today uh, because Penelope has her physical in an hour. So I'm probably gonna meet up with the babysitter in like 20 minutes and um, try to get a snack for myself, a snack for Penelope. Um, and then we'll have to go to the doctors. I'm a little nervous because she woke up with a cold this morning um, and she's supposed to get, uh, I think, I think she's supposed to get shots today, vaccines today. And I'm pretty sure that they won't give them to you. Uh, they won't give them to her if she has a um, a fever. So she doesn't feel like she has a fever. So uh, right now we're just going to go ahead and move forward and go to the appointment. Um, that's just a client email coming through. That's another thing I've been doing this morning. So, um, I, uh, yeah, filmed all that I needed with the B roll. And then I just have been emailing with, um, my packaging client. There's a little bit of a pause on, um, on the logo project because, uh, it's a pretty big company and they have a lot of bureaucratic, um, I don't want to say red tape, but yeah, it's kind of like red tape. Um, so they have a, a very prescribed style guide with like specific colors that can be used and other colors that, um, that are not in that style guide are like prohibited. Um, but they're, CEO or I don't even know if it's a CEO somebody high up is like is requesting some other colors to be used so basically I have done what I can do at this point and I'm just kind of waiting for them to decide what their policy is because they've asked me to make these changes but um, it kind of goes outside of their style guide so they are running that up the chain to whoever has to decide that so originally I was supposed to have the that done tomorrow but I haven't heard anything back and it's um, you know, 1030 on Thursday. So, uh, that may be getting bumped into next week. Um, I just got approval. Actually, let me just see here. I think this, that's what this email was, was final approval. Okay. Yes. I've got final approval, uh, to move forward with the packaging illustration that's due next Friday. So I probably will just continue focusing on finishing up this Skillshare class tomorrow and then getting this put out next Friday. Um, this Skillshare class, I have not really kept track as well as I should have about the amount of time that I put into it, but it's definitely been like pretty epic. So I think the next one I do needs to be a little bit simpler than one I do in February. Like I said, I'm still trying to get one done per month up through May, um, but I can't do one like this every month because this one is just like so in depth as you've seen. Like some of the other ones I've done haven't required quite this much process of like filming everything, editing everything, doing all these notes to figure out what I need for supplementary materials. It's just a lot. So the next one, I think I want to do something simpler. Um, I'll have to decide what that will be. Uh, but yeah, for now, um, I am gonna, um, probably pause, wrap up a couple of email things. And then this afternoon, hopefully I will, while Penny's napping, I'll be able to pull together what I need for, um, the other visual examples. Um, and then hopefully tonight I can make all of the, the cut screens and the inserts. I mean, there's going to be I haven't counted how many, but you can see it's a lot. Um, I think I'll probably making, be making at least a couple hundred. Um, but it, it, once I have everything pulled together, it actually goes pretty quickly. So if I have all the visual examples organized in a folder, then I'll just kind of go down the list and copy and paste the text from here because I have all the ones that will have text in them I have already written out. So I'll just copy and paste those into my um, layout program and then just export all of those slides and they'll each go into their own folder that corresponds with one of the class numbers. And there are, there ended up being 11 classes. So, um, 
hopefully then that will mean I'll have all the supplementary stuff completed by tonight. And then tomorrow I'll be able to just go through, which will mean I have to watch the whole class over again and do all, all of the inserts, all of the cut screens, all of the B-roll. Uh, and then have it all ready to export and upload. Uh, so yeah, it looks like I will not be publishing this Friday, um, probably early next week, but definitely by the 31st, which is great. So considering I lost like so much time with being sick uh, with the flu a couple of weeks ago, I am still happy with that. Um, I, th I think, yeah, it is what it is and I'm just gonna accept it. So um, I'm also uploading the vlog that you guys will see tomorrow um, to YouTube right now. And while we're on that note, actually, I feel like I'll forget this if I wait till tomorrow to tell you guys. Um, so you're watching this one. This is a vlog. Last week was a vlog. The next video is going to be um, a uh, kind of a time lapse or basically like the full version of the process of the uh, the Apple painting, which is the demo painting that you saw me making for the Skillshare class in the last vlog. So I'm gonna show that whole process and then I was thinking um, that it would be fun to do a Q&A about Skillshare and making a Skillshare class. So um, some of you guys have mentioned that that's something that you're interested in doing and obviously I've been trying to show you some of the behind the scenes process throughout these last few vlogs, but I imagine you still have other questions. So if you have questions at all about um, making a class for Skillshare, being a teacher on Skillshare, um, let me know uh, in the comments of this video. Of course, you can also always tweet me. Uh, I'm at Kendall Hilligus or message me on Instagram. But um, yeah, just put those questions in the comments of this video and uh, that'll give us a good conversation starting point for uh, a Q&A about teaching on Skillshare. So um, that is that. Uh, I think I'll probably, I don't know if I'll vlog anymore today, but I, I will vlog some more tomorrow. Um, so hopefully you can see some of the process of it all coming together. So um, that's it for now, and I will see you on Friday. Hey guys, uh, it is Friday morning, a little bit after 11. I have been in the studio for a few hours already. Um, you can probably guess by the theme of this week what I'm working on still. <laughs> the thing that I hope to be done with yesterday, which is the um, all of the inserts and cut screens for, uh, for my Skillshare class. So um, I wanna show you some of what I have uh, right now. So um, I still don't know what the total count is so far, but uh, all of these are uh, the cut screens and the um, the inserts that are going to be used for the class. I think it's going to be, I mean, I think it's probably going to be around 300 total. We'll see. I'll, um, I'll probably finish that up um, later this afternoon. I actually have to stop working about 20 minutes here because we're going to um, go grab some lunch with some friends and Penelope. Um, but I'll come back and work on this more this afternoon. Um, I am hoping that I'll be able to finish up. I have probably like 30 or so more um, inserts to make and then I'll export all of those and then hopefully I'll be ready to get started on that last edit of actually putting everything together. Um, but I think I am uh, probably gonna wrap up the vlog here for now um, so that I can uh, get this footage uploaded and sent off to Meg. Um, I'm also going to publish uh, this week's vlog, which you guys will have seen last week <laughs> uh, before I leave for lunch. Um, so I'm a little um, torn about, maybe, I wasn't planning on vlogging next week, I was planning on doing a different kind of video, um, but I wanted to show you guys the entire process uh, from start to finish, so we'll see, maybe there will be a little bit more vlogging next week, um, but regardless, do leave those questions about making a Skillshare class or just Skillshare in general, uh, being a Skillshare teacher, all of that uh, in the comments, and uh, of course, thank you to my patrons for um, supporting my channel and a special thank you this time for for everybody who's hanging in there with me through uh, through the changes on my patreon page um, and thank you to Meg for editing and thank you to all of you all for watching and please subscribe if you're new hit the thumbs up button if you liked it uh, all of that and I will see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.